Welcome back everyone, welcome back to our everyday living. We're going to be taking this over tomorrow. Three IBC pods full of ferrous metals. Um, there, and we've got trailer loaded too. We've got one in there and we've got two and stripped out some computers. All the casings and whatnot. Filled up a microwave, all the screws and whatnot. So, um, take this, see how much we're gonna get. We also done oh, a couple of days ago a few few uh, fridge motors and got the casings out of those too. So got an old pram there that I picked up a couple of days ago, not on camera or anything. But a lot of this stuff that we've got in the trailer here, I was doing a dumpster dive of an electric place. Um, you might might know about that one uh, from last week where a bloke invited me back. I went back and it filled the IBC put. So. It was all air conditioning ducting. We got two and pulled all the foam off and well it wasn't what's well, it insulation in it though. Yeah, insulation. Um that yellow insulation. So I've got to just work out where I'm going to put the insulation and that's what I think off that ducting. We've still got it sitting on a trailer. Um so we've got to work out where we're gonna take that and that sort of thing. So anyway, um she's a pretty big load, fairly well loaded. I did try and put the four of them on here but we had a bit of a mess up and I dented up my bloody door never mind it happens um because what actually happened is that the leg on the this one that's on the back here um didn't quite catch the corner and yeah put a dent in, into my toolbox but never mind it's only a little minor dent oh, that doesn't it. doesn't affect the opening or closing I wouldn't open it I wouldn't want to see you in there <laughs> oh yeah there's only a siphon hose jack two jacks grease gun all that sort of thing but anyway um we'll find out how much we're going to get this tomorrow if you just want to put a comment on how much do you think this is in weight by all means let's see who gets us pretty close to it i'm estimating mm, my last load was 2.69 i'm estimating Oh, about two and a half ton, 2.5 on this one. There's not as much as what I had before, but we'll see how good, close I get. The next day. Ooh, we've got another bloke already here. Had to wait for him to come back. Oh, yeah. Fair few here. Got a couple of, we'll probably have to put some into those bins there. Flat out, like usual. Go around and get weighed, I suppose. Hell yeah. No, oh, it's truth. What do we weigh? What do we weigh? What do we weigh? No boys about. All out and about. We are heavy. 5.88 tonne. That's the heaviest we've been. Look at that. Dirty copper brass. Ooh, yummy, 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 yummy. Yummy, a lot of brass in there. Yummy, yummy. You've got to weigh on. We've got to stay on there until they come. Lead. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have too. So have I. Where's yours? Yeah, there's your brown one. No, that's right. Give me that. Don't matter. Go to left and to right. Right to left. June's along with us today. Oh dear, that's the way to do it. Tip it off. Done there, undo all of our straps. Yeah, all this stuff here, undo, undo the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, you want to do that and I'll do the trial. How's that? That's easy, right? Get the ball rolling. <laughs> Get that. Well, that didn't go in there, did it? Better get in for that. That's that's fairly heavy. That thing filled with screws and God knows. Up we go. Oh dear. You wouldn't think screws would be so goddamn heavy, but they get heavy after a while when you fill them up. Up. It's over there. It's over there. We did keep a couple of those little bins. This one got ran over. All right, that's all we need to do. Got to wait for him to fork it off now. Not bad of be Gun up June. Unstrap it.
I just pull it right through. Yeah, no, I haven't got that one off yet. All right, well, I'll get that. Watch yourself. Right. right. <coughs> Straps got to be pulled out of these anyway later. This one. All oh, right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, no, I can. <sighs> hey. <laughs> He's got to wait for this fella to go back on before he can come and help us. So he said, "Oh, come and unload. Your, go and unload your trailer first, because um, he's waiting for them to go back on. See, they got the broom out and all that. So I don't worry about that. <clears throat> I certainly got that locked on there, didn't I? <clears throat> there we go. Oh, I'll untangle this crap." Gonna have to sit underneath your feet until we got it back on. Okay. Yeah, put them on your side. I have to use one at least. Oh, caught around the tire. Oh, that don't look good. I've got to get that fixed. She's certainly leaking out of that front diff. Definitely have to get it fixed. Piece of wire caught in it. If you see if you weren't here I'd just chuck these on the seat the ratchet piece is on the back on the far side we can just throw it through the window anyway oh we got a squatty one today Sorry, mate. got a squatty one yeah, yeah, I'm pull off, yeah. oh I don't need to push it in you're gonna come this way, whole way. Down, in, keep going, go in. Keep going in. Yeah, bring it back. Put it down there. Woo. <laughs> Gotta add a lot of weight in that. That's yours. Take the whole thing, mate. Get him to put one in him. What am I doing? I can't see go up, go up, go up. Tilt your fork forward. Up, higher. And right hand down. Go down now. Go down with your fork. Down, down. Tilt it forward. Tilt it forward. You gotta go across that way more. Yeah, go in there straight. That's it. Keep going. Push it over, it'll only hit the side rail. Oh, I'm going in there, I'm going get it. Yeah, or well, whatever you wanna do, you keep going there and drag it across. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, that's as far as you'll get. Lift it up.
grab it, yeah, otherwise... Yep, yep, yep. At least you can't get bugged with this one. Sorry, mate? Can't get bugged with this one. Oh, it's a little bit harder, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure we still could if we wanted to. Yeah, don't want to, though. <laughs> Bit of tilt action here. You watching this one? She's all good, bro. Hey. It's all good. She's all out. Beep. Chuck that one in the trailer if you can. Yeah. Jeez, I don't need me gloves. <laughs> That's how they do it. Hey? You will when you go to Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Just park it there. Because we'll get another one put in here and we'll push it forward. I might be able to pull it forward myself. You watch the vehicle come up now. That's the heavy one. Up. Uh, need a guide again. Yeah, up. I'm here, still here. Up, tilt your forks forward. Up, tilt your forks forward. Work, go straight in. Straight in there? Straight in there. You should be able to pick it straight up and put it down. Straight in. Lift them up. That's it, lift them up. Keep going in, keep going in. Keep going. I'm not going to get the next one as well, am I? No, you got about three or four inches there. Go up there. That's the heavy one. Sweet. That's the go. Go down the back end. Do not enter. Well, I did. I didn't think you were far enough over. <laughs> no, it wasn't clear enough. I'm trying to stay out of this. Yeah, the mark. Up, up, up. You weren't high enough. Yeah, when they've got a heap of weight, they just rip the bases off. Yeah, I understand. I know you don't want the plastic there. Um, you might be best from the far side moving the track. I don't know. Just to I can't see from the other side. I'll get up and have a look for you. I should be able to clear, but probably won't be a real good nick. But... Oh, yeah, I reckon if you if you come in from that side, you should be able to fork yeah. both of them. I'll just see what happens if I try. Go into there. 
Well, if you bagger it, you bagger it, I'll take the plastic home. Sorry? If you bagger it up, I'll take the plastic home. Yeah, I'll just say you bagger it. She's got washing machines and all in here. Keep going. Go down a bit. Go down. Now clamp it. Lift up. Nah. Go right down so you're touching your bin, that's it. Push him over. Bring him up. down out of your road bro. Yeah. Don't want that landing on me. <laughs> That's out. That's the go. Oh you can keep that one but I'll take the plastic. <laughs> yeah. She nagged that one. <laughs> it didn't work for you, did it? Oh, I don't know how I'm going to get the plastic out. I ain't got a grinder. You yeah. got one? No, uh, that's alright. Just leave it here. I'll, I'll sort it out. Oh, okay. Oh, be generous with me. <laughs> but yeah, when you do get it, I can't go any higher with this fork. That's yeah, 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 I understand. Go down, down. Which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, it happens. But um, with these pods, they're good, but if there's a bit of weight in them, just snap the legs clean off and just go boop, and that's Well, they're only held on by bolts. Yeah. Well, the tech screws are most of them. <laughs> <laughs> Bugger that one up on me. Tilt forward. Straight in there. Where are you? Too low now. Maybe there? Yeah, go in there. Yeah, these steel ones are more robust. Yeah, I might just tip this into one of those low bins out there. Anyway. <laughs> it's alright, we've got no weight on there now. Take me pieces of steel. Take him home. There's only light stuff in that. Yeah, I'm just going to tip it over there. Yeah, fair enough. Because um, you, you can tip them a lot easier. Yeah. Close that up. Not getting any more in there. Not taking three home now. Bit of a bummer. Quite a tidy place this. You might be lucky to get your fork off. Sorry, mate. Yeah, you got it. There you go. Right. I'll meet you around there. Sweet. Wow. 
uh, 2.68 empty. I like it when I can come home, watch the boys, be outside, play around. Got seven cats. Love watching them. But anyway, let's get down to business and show you what we got for that. So, just with pressing steel, we had a total weight of 3.2 ton. That's the heaviest we've ever been. We got a total of $448. Um, now, when you think about that, that's only 14 cents per kilo. Uh, but then you've got the waste levy. Uh, now, I found out what the waste levy is. When you take pressing steel, doesn't matter what company you go through, um, they will charge you a waste levy for pressing steel. Only for pressing steel, nothing else. If you take in some heavy cast iron, you've got a whole heap of it, yeah, that's when they don't charge you that waste levy because it's a certain amount, certain quantity, all that sort of thing. Um, amount quantity is the same thing, I suppose. So when you're taking in cast steel and that sort of thing, like the heavier stuff, you can keep it all separate, but you got, he did say that you've got to keep it all separate and take in a whole, whole heap. Because if you only take in, say, for instance, uh, this is my just my where I've been going lately uh, for all the scrap steel and that sort of thing. Uh, if you put in a bit of cast iron in your pressing steel, they'll just put it in with pressing steel because it is very hard for them to separate it. I can't see why they can't separate it and just keep a separate bin and accumulate a fair bit of it. I know most scrap yards do, um, but apparently this one doesn't. So we will be doing a bit different things in the future for our pressing steel and all of that. Um, we've got a fellow that's um, willing to come and pick it up and that sort of thing and do us a favour. So we're going to look in doing that. And um, yes, been emailing backwards and forwards. So uh, we'll definitely go, be going that way. Um, but anyway, if you've come this far in the video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you wish to, if you consider subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when there's a new video coming out. So on that note, I better get to work. It's a totally different day. For me anyway. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio everyone.